So in the tropics, basically what we do to add nutrients to our biochar, our, we use biochar as about a 50% by volume amendment to our soil. The other part is we use worm castings. So the worms that we have in this uh, usually go up into this part wherever we put our fresh compost from our, from our kitchen scraps. We go ahead and dump that there and then we all cover it with some uh, loose leaf litter. And basically, this gives us a, a very high nutrient dense profile to our soil. So the combination of this along with rock powder and the biochar and the little effective microorganisms, effective microorganisms gives us a very rich black soil. This is a California red, but oddly enough, we went ahead when uh, we harvest our peach palm or our pecky bio wood. If you lay the pecky bio trunks just down on the ground, after a few months of them getting saturated during the rainy season, you have thousands of these worms just crawling through those. So the eggshells add calcium to the soil. Uh, normally uh, in northern latitudes you wouldn't use as many eggshells because they won't break down. But here we're so calcium deficient with our soil that I have found as long as the calcium is, as long as the eggshells are broken up sufficiently, they'll break down in our, in our soil and it's a wonderful amendment. And basically calcium we need calcium, zinc, and magnesium in our soil here, and it's, it's it, in the tropics, there's next to none of that in the soil. It helps bind the soil, and it helps in mineral transport. So basically, we're going to have this type of leaf litter to cover the compost. This basically keeps bugs away. Uh, we don't want any ants in our, in our wormery, because the ants will definitely eat the worms. The, the ants love the worms, actually. Here, I don't know what, what it's like in other parts of the world, but... Ants will eat everything here if you give them a chance. And we use all different types of leaf litter. I like to use the silica rich bamboo leaf. This is the final part of the process where we're actually finalizing our soil. We went ahead and drenched our biochar with effective microorganisms. I had a pile of soil that I've been letting marinate for about a week out. So I go ahead and just spread this over uniformly. We use a very fine rock powder here for mineral content. Uh, there's a river that's very close to here that has a quarry, and I just get the rock powder from the quarry. The finer the rock powder, the better the mineral distribution. Then I add rice, rice holes, so that there's, you know, good aeration through the water, through the, through the soil. And then the worm casting for our more solid componentry to the soil. And then I kind of mix it just like you would mix cob. I just take the plastic and I fold the plastic over just to get a, a nice tumble. You want to keep the soil nice and loose so I'm never stomping on the soil at all. You do this a few times, you get a nice homogeneous mixture. That is ready for planting. So this is my starter bed. I just took an old peach palm trunk. I just took probably about a fifth of it out to create a trough. And I take all this good soil that we have here, the biochar soil, and I go ahead and just seed the, the trough with this soil. And then whatever seeds that I'm eating, like say I'm eating my, my dinosaur kale or squash or you know uh, peppers, whatever, tomato, I'll throw the seeds in, in this starter bed, lightly water it, and whichever one starts sprouting, I go ahead and take out very gently. You can see how loose this soil is. I can just go ahead and with my fingers gently take it out and then replant that in its own pot and then we're off to the races and we'll have beautiful delicious food in a very short while.
So to recap everything that we've done here, basically what we're trying to do is every time we cook, we want to produce soil. And this is a permaculture principle in that there's this beautiful reciprocal cycle that we can all be a part of. Our particular system is we are cooking a pot of beans and we're converting biomass into biochar, which is crystallized carbon, which is a beautiful soil amendment. And then we can, in the future, grow our plants out of this soil. So it's a very simple process, as you've seen in the video. I want to thank you for your time and attention. And I ask you to come back and watch our other videos. We have about 200 different inventions and, and products and things that are of similar nature. Uh, I want to invite you to check out my website, biocharisma.com. And I want to thank Jimmy from ourawakenedjourney.com.